Hi, Pisces. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your comments, especially your comments. Who to help a fellow Pisces? Then another Pisces. I also think that the comment section is a wonderful way to put out good positive energy, good positive karma. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. Last week, we, Pisces, last week we did talk about the Chinese brings in the year of the drag, wood dragon starting on uh, February 10th. Um, we also talked a little bit about um, some of the traditions or taboos um, that are avoided during the holiday celebration during the New Year celebration. One of an additional taboo to the holiday season that many people like to add is the not cleaning, sweeping, or throwing any way, anything away. Um, in preparation for the New Year, there's a deep cleaning, a deep spring cleaning, so to speak. And then during the holiday, there's no cleaning or throwing anything away. It is believed that you sweep away the old energy, um, you bring in good positive luck, and if during the celebration you throw things away or uh, sweep or clean, you run the risk of uh, sweeping out any good luck that may be coming in for you this year. And the foundation, the basis of this reading is the Knight of Pentacles, a pause, a standstill, and the driving force, you are being asked to pause, to look for the deeper appreciation, the deeper gratitude. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your cards here this week, Pisces. We have the Temperance card. And the Temperance card, I like to also refer that to, to this card as the Alchemy card. Um, it's about balance. It's about using the seen, the unseen, and knowledge. It's an accumulation or a... a balance of using the accumulated knowledge of the workings of the physical, the invisible, the unseen. And then it's followed by the two of wands. There's something another option, another opinion. There's something that um, you are not seeing or that you do not have a full understanding of the workings to. You're thinking that this is set in stone. You're thinking that this is unchangeable, that this is the way that it always has been and this is the way that it would it will continue to be and sources letting you know that that is not true that there's another option available to you that is going to require more than just the tangible more than just the physical and it's followed by the page of wands taking steps forward, getting ready to move forward. And I think that this really, especially when we see this page of wands and we see the wood here and it is the year of the wood dragon, I think that this speaks to what we talked about in last week's reading, that this is the year of the wood dragon and it's going to bring in plenty of ups and downs for the sign of 
Pisces. And I think that this week you will be asked to address or to face your first challenge and um, to prepare or to be ready to define or to clarify your position on the politics of something, the workings of something, or um, your beliefs, your ideas, your morals, but you're going to be asked to speak from your heart, to speak from an inner place, an inner being of knowing. And the more you are, or the better able you are able to present your stance, present your ideas, present your beliefs, present what it is that you know to be true, the more, the better able you are to speak those words in confidence, the more respect that you're going to gain. in taking pause to define your beliefs, to define your position, and speak from a place of confidence. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take, victory, and here we have the Page of Pentacles, a newer, deeper appreciation. And that's followed by the King of Pentacles, which is the richest card in the deck. Um, having it all, being all. And I think that this there's a new, deeper appreciation to achieve your goals. And this deeper appreciation is a source of inspiration to those closest to you your ability to balance, your ability to be fair, and your newfound appreciation of self and newfound appreciation of self-confidence in defining yourself and taking Ste and in stepping into your role is a source of inspiration to those closest to you. And I will also say, as we begin to head into the season of the Pisces, this is going to be a season of love for you this year, Pisces. And I think that up until this point, you've been maybe a little disconnected from reality, um, disconnected from how things really are. But I think as you step back into reality, step back into the knowing and understanding of how things really are, and as that fog as that fog lifts and you gain the clarity you will have the breakthrough that you've been looking for in your love life and the love that you are looking for is coming in 
And I think that that, let, let's move these cards up here just a little bit. Sorry about that, Pisces. And so, again, we, we follow that up with the lover's card. And the lover's card is about coupleships, about partnerships, um, about being close to someone. And that being close to someone is coming from a place or coming from a new found wisdom, a new found perspective from within you. The end, not the end, putting in the work, putting in the work, putting in the passion, putting in the fire, and enjoyment of the banquet, preparation for the banquet. I believe at this time, Pisces, you may be feeling a little bit restless. And that restlessness is coming from a place of, that place of fog, that place of seeking clarity. But you will gain clarity as you define what you know, who it is that you are, and what your goals are. You're coming out of a fog and being able to speak or come from a place of self-confidence. And who we are and what we believe emotionally takes time for the physical to catch up. And I think at this time, the physical is going to catch up with how you define yourself and the words that you use to define yourself. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. You have a 